For no real reason at all other than to have a good time, the Red Hat Society gathered at the Legacy Center Monday afternoon to have a light lunch and to enjoy some camaraderie amongst fellow Red Hatters. Because it's our turn to get out and have fun. We've raised our children and, and worked our work and now it's our turn. About 100 Red Hat Society members from places like North Battleford, Vermilion, Edmonton and Maidstone were all in attendance ready to show off their fanciest red and purple attire. It's a bunch of women that get together and have a lot of fun and we play dress up. Fortunately for people like myself, the only guy in the room, there are certain rules that are needed in order to join the Red Hat Society. First, you have to be a lady. Secondly, you have to own some red and purple clothing. I swear I only have red clothes. And finally, you have to want to have some fun. You have to be over 50 to wear red and purple. Under 50, you wear lavender and pink. And you have to be just a little bit crazy. <laughs> Fair enough. He's laughing at me. <laughs> I swear I'm with you, laughing with you. Uh, now you say a little bit of crazy, you're all here for fun. You bet, that's what we do. That's what we do best. Queen Sandy Plasier from Tofield, Alberta credits the society for introducing her to friends she otherwise wouldn't have ever met. I have made so many friends from all over Alberta and now into Saskatoon, uh, Saskatchewan and it's just done wonders for me. My husband just says, okay, see you next time. <laughs> for New Cap News, I'm Chris Campbell. Wow, wow.